Have you seen these hippos in Colombia? Hippos don't naturally live in Colombia, but in the 1980s, the infamous drug lord Pablo Escobar imported four hippos from Africa for his private zoo. I visited these guys a few years ago for an episode of Vox Borders, and they're cute, but very dangerous. They've now proliferated, and there's 165 of them, and it's becoming a massive problem. Last year, a man was attacked by one of these hippos, and the government finally is deciding that they have to take real action. They were super hesitant to just shoot these hippos for obvious reasons, but now they have decided they have to, to at least a few of them. They also are trying to sterilize them, which seems like a good idea, but I talked to the guy who actually does this, and he's like, it's way harder than you think to sterilize a 4,000 pound mammal. But they gotta do something, because if they don't, estimates say that there's gonna be over a thousand of these hippos roaming around Colombia by 2035. I've been following this story for years, and I'm going to keep following it because it's quite interesting to me. If you want to better understand current events and international news, Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I get their stance on like, well, let's not shoot them. Mm -hmm. I think the way our society works right now, they'd like to look for a better answer. Yeah. But just like he said, let's talk about the logistics mm -hmm. of sterilizing a 4,000 pound animal. Yeah, seriously. Also, hippos are part of the, uh, what do they call them? The big five from Africa, the five oh, most yeah. dangerous animals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I believe that they're the most dangerous mm. out of all of the big five. So the issue with that is is that you're not only messing with an animal that weighs 4,000 pounds, but you're also messing with an animal that is very, very territorial and mm. dangerous. Now, yeah. the deal is, is he said 1980, but I've done a little bit more research on it, and it looks like it was in the late 70s, and he brought four of them. Now, as of... And I've got it somewhere here. <clears throat> I want to say as of like 2019, I think they thought there was like 100, but now there's like, what What do you say, 165? Yeah, yeah. And, and I heard estimates as high as if they don't do something by, I think, 2035, there could be as many as 1,000. Yeah. Now, because hippos aren't native to there, they're kind of an invasive species. Mm -hmm. They're not something that's supposed to be there. Yeah. So the problem is they don't have, like, anything to keep them in check. There's no predators yeah. or anything. Yeah. So I feel bad to say this, but I feel like at this point, <clears throat> you've got to get rid of them because they are, well, there there are other videos of them, like, in towns. I mean, they yeah. saw a little bit right there, but yeah, yeah. but it, it's, it's bad. Yeah, it seems crazy. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to jump real quick to okay. uh, what we were talking about a little bit on one of our uh, previous videos and <clears throat> is the option out there to use these as a food source oh i don't know about that that's interesting i don't know mm -hmm. and and i think if they do decide to kill them i think mm -hmm. that you know they shouldn't just be wasted yeah i mean in in the southern united states mm -hmm. there are several states that have a hog problem and hogs mm -hmm. aren't they're not indigenous to North America. Yeah. They were brought over, I think, in the 1600s. And now there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Yeah. They're super dangerous. They screw up farms. Mm -hmm. they, they attack livestock, a bunch of things. Yeah. And so it's just an all-out, like, us against them. I mean, there's no hunting season for wild mm -hmm. hogs like in Louisiana. Right. You, you go get... I believe you go get a permit for how many you think you can get, and then you go out and you get them. Oh, okay. And then I think you have to turn that in so that they have some type of idea, some type of count mm -hmm. to keep track of how many have been killed. But yeah. but they're they're a lot of control, and I think the government would just assume wipe them out. Right. But they can't because they're just out of control. And <laughs> yeah. I feel like that even though the number is pretty big, they're at a number where they could do something. Right. And if we screw around and we act like well, you know. Yeah, they're a living thing and blah blah blah, and mm -hmm. we sh should just respect mm -hmm. that. No, they were taken out of their environment mm -hmm. and they were let loose. So, so the the deal is, is they were originally in a zoo, yeah. but then when he was arrested, they were allowed to roam free on his abandoned estate. Oh, okay. So, and then because yeah. of that, because there was nobody there taking yeah. care of them, they yeah. said run free. They ballooned up to this. Yeah, I mean it's what oh, forty wow. years later. Yeah, wow, that is nuts. Yeah, I'm surprised that um you know, I don't know if you can eat hippo, but I'm, you know. And plus, I mean, I guess that's just a lot. Like even if you can, like how many do you need? You know, <laughs> that seems crazy. 
<clears throat> but yeah, I mean that is a that is a going to be a huge problem. And actually, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, if they're going to get it in time. I don't know if they're going to. I feel like this is just going to get out of control. Yeah, I, I don't have the solution, but I will say something should be done sooner rather than later, or they're yeah. going to end up with a bigger problem. I did just Google it, and yes, people can eat hippo. Um, oh, evidently they're eaten as a delicacy. I don't know where in the world they're eating. Maybe some African country because they're they're native to oh, the yeah, African yeah. Okay. African continent. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard of anyone eating them. I don't know if there's an option to like if zoos want them or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, and, and and I understand like the whole. I mean, how do you even sterilize something like that? You, you're gonna have to bring in construction equipment mm -hmm. equipment to move four thousand <laughs> yeah. pounds. Yeah, that's like what a car weighs. Yeah, yeah, that's yikes. Yeah, and then and then I I you know I'm not a uh, a veterinarian or what would you call it like a zoologist or something. Uh, what does it take to knock out something like that? Yeah, you're gonna need a huge tranquilizer. And I feel like the way tranquilizers work because they don't work like they work in the movies yeah. where you get shot yeah, and they yeah. fall over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They get drowsy, and I think sometimes I've seen in the past on like documentaries when they do it to like lions and things mm -hmm. like that is right before they start to go out, it's like they're really wasted. Mm -hmm. And then they get scared, and then they get dangerous. Yeah. So if you're close enough to hit it with a dart, mm -hmm. that can't... If a 4,000-pound thing yeah. tried to attack you, even in being in a vehicle, mm -hmm. that could be very dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I saw it, and I've known about this for a little while. I didn't know it was in the hundreds. Mm -hmm. um, but when I saw this video, I just thought, yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean... I mean, I guess it wouldn't necessarily make like major news, but that is something that uh, that's very interesting. And if it's gone on for this long, I don't know. I don't feel like it's going to be taken seriously or anything's going to happen. So I think those numbers are just going to climb. Yeah. But yeah, and then and then the last thing I did look it up too, and it says like uh, the taste of hippo is uh, mild, uh, less than lamb, but more than beef. Hmm. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, you know, maybe if they've got like a, I'm thinking like, like I know down south that there are tours where you can go and hunt hog, a uh, wild hog. Yeah. And a lot of them, they gather, they don't just leave them there. They gather them, they process them, and mm -hmm. they give them to like food banks. Yeah. So they're getting fresh meat every right. day. Yeah. Which, by the way, I've eaten wild hog. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> actually, last time I had it, it's actually in Epcot Center mm -hmm. in Disney World in the Italian restaurant. And uh, it was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it was served with yeah. some noodles and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, okay. I don't, I mean, I don't know what hippo tastes like. Yeah. They said a little stronger than beef. I could go for that. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, just because they're wild animals doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's terrible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Could be delicious. Yeah. <laughs>